in this session i'll be going to discuss magic t how magic t functions and we will be deriving scattering matrix of magic t so here you can see this is magic t where these are port 1 and port 2 this is h arm and this is e arm now the basic working of this magic t is like this e arm and h arm are perfectly matched so return loss at e arm and h arm is zero and e m and h m both are perfectly isolated to each other so if we give input at e m output at h m will be zero and if we give input at h m then output at e m will be zero now basic working of e m and h m is like if we give input at e m then output at port 1 and port 2 that will be same but out of phase and if we give input at h arm then output at port 1 and port 2 that will be same but in phase so that is how it is working now this magic t is called this e h plane t that is called as a magic t the magic behind this is like see if we give input at port 1 and port 2 and if that input is in phase in that case output will be there at h arm but if this input is equal and out of phase at port 1 and port 2 in that case output will be there at e m so by giving input at port 1 and port 2 we can decide in which port there could be output so that is what the magic which is there with this magic t that's why this magic t is called as magic t so here as we have discussed let us derive scattering matrix of that and that we can derive it based on basic understanding of it so here if i consider this is a port 4 that is e m and if i consider this is port 3 that is h m let us say this is port 1 let us say this is port 2 so basic working of this magic t is port 3 and port 4 those are perfectly matched so return loss at port 3 and port 4 is 0 port 3 and port 4 means e arm and h arm those are perfectly isolated to each other so if i give input at e arm output at h arm will be 0 and if i give input at h arm output at e m will be zero the basic working of that is e1 as per e plane t and h plane t where if i give input at e m output at port 1 and port 2 that will be same but out of phase and if i give input at h m output at port 1 and port 2 that will be same and in phase so now let us have a derivation of scattering matrix based on its working so e arm and h arm are perfectly matched so you can say s33 and s44 that is equals to 0 and port 3 and port 4 are isolated to each other so 3 and 4 port are isolated to each other so s 3 4 is equals to s 4 3 is equals to 0 here if input is given at e m output at 1 and 2 that will be same and in phase so out of phase sorry if input is given at e m then out of phase output is there at port 1 and port 2 so if input is at port 4 e m then output at 
port 1 and 2 is same and out of phase. So we can say S41 is equals to minus S42. And similarly, if we give input at H arm means port 3, out of output at port 1 and port 2 that will be in phase and equal. So, if input is at port 3 H arm, then output at port 1 and port 2 is same and in phase. So, we can say S31 is equals to S32. So, this is what the basic working which is what we need to utilize. Uh, in a derivation of scattering matrix where E m and H m are perfectly matched so S 3 3 and S S S 4 4 is 0 and 3 and 4 are isolated to each other so S 3 4 is equal to S 4 3 is equal to 0 and if input is given at E m then output at 1 and 2 will be same and out of phase so S 1 4 is equal to minus S 4 2 S minus S 2 4 and if input is given at H m then output at 1 and 2 is same and in phase. So, S13 is equals to S23. So, now for further derivation of scattering matrix, we need to consider property of symmetricity. So, as per symmetry city, can say Sij is equals to Sji. So, it means S12 is equals to S21, S13 is equals to S31, S24 is equals to S42. So, now let us place all those things in scattering matrix. So, now scattering matrix of magic T that will change is to initially it was four it is four ports so s11 s12 s13 s14 s21 s22 s23 s24 s31 s32 s33 s34 s41 s42 s43 s44 now here port 3 and port 4 return loss is 0. So, S33, S44 is 0. So, these two are 0. 3 and 4 are isolated to each other. So, S34 is equals to S43 is equals to 0. And S11, S22 that is what we need to find out. And S12 and S21 is same. So, this is S12. S13 is S31. So, S1 this is S13, this is S14 and S41 that is S14 and as we have seen earlier S23 is S13, so this is S13 and S24 that is minus S14 as per E plane 2, E E R and S23 is S13 again and S42 that is minus S14. So, this is how we can reduce this matrix to this. Now, to have a solution of these parameters which is there inside of this magic piece S matrix, we need to consider it follows identity. So, we can say S S star is equals to I. So, that is resulting into S11, S12, S13, S14, 
एस वन टू एस टू टू एस वन थ्री माइनस एस वन फोर दिस इज एस वन थ्री एस वन थ्री एस वन फोर माइनस एस वन फोर इन टू एस वन वन स्टार एस वन टू स्टार एस वन थ्री स्टार एस वन फोर स्टार एस वन टू स्टार एस टू टू स्टार एस वन थ्री स्टार माइनस एस वन फोर स्टार एस वन थ्री स्टार एंड एस वन फोर स्टार लाइक दिस एंड आइडेंटिटी इज दैट ऑन इज वन So now to have a calculation of this unknown parameter, let us multiply rows and columns to each other and use those equations to have a solution. So from you can say R1, C1, S11 square plus S12 square plus S13 square plus S14 square is equals to one. From R2, C2. S one two square plus S two two square plus S one three square plus S one four square is equals to one. S per R three C three. S one three square plus S one three square is equals to one. And S four R four C four. S one four square plus S one four square is equals to one. And from this we can say S one three is equals to one by root two, and S one four is equals to one by root two. So if we place S one three square and S one four square is equals to one by root two in above equations, then this is this two will be placed in these equations. So that is resulting into S one one square plus S one two square is equals to zero, and S one two square plus S two two square is equals to zero. Now, if this is zero, then we can say S one one is equals to S one two is equals to S two two is equals to zero. So all those parameters are zero. so from this we can identify magic tree scattering matrix and that is this four r zero and this four r zero and these are one by root two this is minus one by root two this is minus one by root two and these are one by root two so that is how magic tree functions and this is the scattering matrix of magic tree hello friends if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and ask any query is there if any query is there please mention below in comment thank you so much for watching this video